Hey guys, this is my movie review for Nightcrawler. This movie came out earlier uh, last year, or late last year, I guess. Uh, I think it came out on Halloween Day, if I'm not mistaken. But it's been a couple months since I've seen this movie, uh, but I haven't forgotten anything about what I want to say in this review because I absolutely loved it. It's one of my favorite movies of last year of 2014. Just a really special and different film. And one thing I want to say about Jake Gyllenhaal, I, I think this guy has quickly become one of the very best actors in Hollywood. Uh, I'd put him top three or five uh, actors today. I really I really think he's great and I really appreciate what he's been doing with his career taking roles in smaller movies, movies that aren't going to be huge box office hits um, like Prisoners, Enemy which didn't even have a standard wide theatrical release but in those movies he gave great performances but he played very reserved roles and here in Nightcrawler he played a totally different role. Um, he really got to shine here. His acting abilities were on full display. He played a very charismatic, eccentric character, uh, a character that was maniacal at times, and it was just beautiful to watch. Um, the performance of Jake Gyllenhaal's career, it's one of those movies where you, his acting is so great that you just enjoy watching the dialogue, hearing him speak, because he just brings the character to life so well and it was just an amazing performance really made this movie special one thing I was concerned about with this movie was the plot I didn't think that it was going to be as strong as it was you know from the trailer you know it looked like a, a cool unique idea but I didn't know how far they could go with it to make a full movie out of this with you know a real climax and good progression but the movie had all that the plot here is there's a man named Lou Bloom which is Jake Gyllenhaal's character and he's out of work just kind of wandering the streets and he's eventually able to find success in uh, videotaping crime scenes live as they happen or right after uh, the crimes have just been committed and he then sells this footage to news stations and starts to uh, become successful that way and that's all in the trailer um, but the movie went further than that that there was a real story arc here there's clear progression um, you know his character was building throughout the movie the ending of the movie was really suspenseful really great um, the suspense was building throughout the entire movie and you know those concerns that I had about the plot I didn't have them anymore once I was watching the movie because I was just on the edge of my seat and they really were able to make a great story out of this really simple concept so that worked very well visually this movie was just stunning I absolutely loved it uh, I'm not joking when I was sitting in the theater watching this I thought it was one of the best looking movies I had ever seen it has that really sleek digital look which I'm not a huge fan of but for this movie with a lot of the nighttime scenes it was it just looked really beautiful the colors were really vibrant and I loved uh, the visual aspect of the movie and one other, one other thing that the movie did really well it took on this dark this dark, bizarre kind of dark humor tone to it at times, and they used this one specific scene in the movie, which I won't uh, describe really, but it was so evident and obvious to me, uh, you know, the message they were trying to send here, and that was that people will do completely irrational things. They will do things that they themselves had said that they would never do, that they don't want to do, they'll do these things in order to achieve success or, you know, get uh, what they want in life. And that was really evident in one scene in this movie. And because it was just so bizarre, because, like I said, characters were doing things that they had said in the movie, you know, they were that they were really reluctant to do. They ended up doing them as like they're 
motivations had completely turned. They had done a 180. Um, it was just so bizarre that I thought the movie kind of felt like a dark comedy in the specific scene, and I really appreciated that. I really liked it. It really fit with uh, the lead character here, who is really this maniac. Um, and it was just a ballsy move to make a movie about this guy who, from the very first scene, uh, were really it's really made clear to the audience that this guy is a really hateable man. Um, a criminal and you know to have a lead character like that that kind of dark comedic aspect fit really well uh, with this movie so Nightcrawler is one of the surprise uh, movies of the year for me absolutely fantastic loved it um, extremely good pacing as well there wasn't one moment in this movie where I was bored uh, or felt like the movie dragged great pacing great plot progression visually stunning and just an amazing and amazing performance by Jake Gyllenhaal so I have to give Nightcrawler an A one of the best movies of the year uh, top three movies probably and I think you should all watch it because um, it was really a great experience so that's my review for Nightcrawler guys thanks a lot for watching please like the video check out my channel check out my other reviews and to stay tuned for uh, for more videos to come for me, hopefully more reviews uh, as we roll on through 2015. Take care, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.